Hello, welcome to episode 143 in the Data Pack Tutorial Series, version 1.2.1.4. Although today we're doing a resource pack. We will have a little data pack, just so we can attach the resource pack to it and upload it to Planet Minecraft. We're doing camera overlays. So if I put on my uh, carved pumpkin, it's not going to actually do anything because I'm in the wrong camera mode. There we go. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Looks like I'm using a CCTV, especially if we go into spectator. Because it's got a sort of camera, it's recording, giving it a little bit of a green tint. That's what we're going to be making. We don't have to use a calf pumpkin. I don't want to press F3. I want to press uh, 3 and 4. Get into creative. Get my inventory open and take it off. Okay, so for that example, we were using a calf pumpkin. Let's have a very quick look at the data pack first. So the data pack is just giving myself a calf pumpkin with the equipable component, which says slot head camera overlay. Okay. That's that. We could run that in chat. We don't need the we don't need the data pack to run that. Don't need the data pack at all. Let's look at what we do need, which is the resource pack. So options resource pack open pack folder. That's going to take us here. And I have my pack MC Meta. Quick look. There we go. In case you want to copy it. And inside assets we have RP overlay. That's my namespace. That corresponds to the command rp overlay colon my namespace colon and inside there we have textures misc cctv ping and if we look at the path i'm calling we can see misc cctv okay that's pretty much it um let's change it let's put it on something else just so you know it doesn't that doesn't have to be a head uh let's change the command let's just say it's diamond boots Diamond boots, and let's say they're in the foot slot, the feet slot. Let's save that. Well, let's go back. A done, done. Back to game. A reload function. Give myself the diamond boots. Let's press F five, and let's put the boots on, and we get the overlay. Cool. So it can be any item. Um, I think I'm going to plan on using it. Well, I don't think it really matters for me because my plan is to have the person spectating something. They're going to be switched into spectator and then I'm just going to stick any armor piece on their head uh, and they're going to view the camera thing. Obviously, if they're already wearing an armor piece, you're either going to want to modify the item so it has the overlay or take that item off them, pop the new item with the overlay on and then later on swap them back again. Um, let's take a little look at the file I'm using. Let's press T. Okay. Let's get that. That. There's my file. Let's look at it in GIMP. It is 256 by 144. Now, you're pretty sure you can use any resolution you want. Uh, 16 by 9 is, is sort of like your standard monitor format, which is why I've gone for that. So it looks, it looks pretty similar. In game to what it does there, or maybe a, maybe stretched up a little tiny bit. That might just because I'm in small mode. In fact, if we go big, there we go. We can see my circle is is round again now. So I've gone for a sixteen by nine. You can do it any size you want. The way I did that is I just went well. I'm going to do two five six along the bottom, and then I just need to work out what the the height is, which is pretty simple. We can just do my width two. Uh, pretty simple if you can press the right buttons. My width is 256. I'm going to times that by 9 and divide it by 16. So my height is 144. And that's 16 by 9 ratio. So that will look good when... I'm mean, sure most people probably play it full screen. So that'll look good full screen. Obviously, if you shrink it down and start squishing stuff up like that, it's, who, who plays in a square window? I bet someone does. If you do play in a square window, let me know. That'd just be interesting. <laughs> You're mad. You're insane. There we go. So that's the file I've used. And that's about it. Just a super short, quick one. Uh, oh. oh, I'm a ghost. There we go. Okay, I'll leave you go. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Take care.